Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. I want to show you some decorating stuff for tips and tricks that I use on my island. I want to start with the botanical house and a nice forest with trees and flowers beside it. I use a lot of green stuff. I've put my house somewhere on a place where I have the space to make things around it. I put that nice and lovely fence, really adore it, but not too much because it will be too busy. The lovely lupines, as you see, they are fantastic. They're very bright and colored, but they also take not so much space. So it's very satisfying to use these and I have bought many of them. When you look at the path, you see that I uh, do have them on, an isle, on my island, but not very much. And you uh, only need a couple of tiles to have to create the illusion of a road that will save you a lot of space. On my island, I have a lot of beautiful trees. I know I'm lucky with them as I play for a couple of years now and the newer players won't always have as many trees as I do. When I place trees, I look at the colors. Are they nice together? How are the shapes? Then I try to arrange as nice as possible. Also the same with the green trees and the oaks. Um, these oaks are within general stores. So also for the newer players, they're available and that's okay. Personally, I like the oaks very much and I have a lot of them on my island. About the water tiles, I like them a lot. I like the way they sh you can make uh, beautiful shapes with them. I like the grass that appears on the edges. I personally, I don't like the sandy uh, borders so much, so I try to avoid them as much as possible. And for the rest, well, it's a lot of trial and error for me. As you see, how does it look nice? What's the best position? Where do I want the lily pads, etc. You can add any kind of bird or duck or whatever on it. It's always okay, actually. I also want to add that beautiful gate at the entrance of the garden of the forest. I search a place for it, add the beautiful fences on both sides. I always like that the edges on my island, well, are a bit okay, so that's why I will hide the end of those fences at right with a small tree, so you don't see that there's a gap. The same is with the road, there are two parts, two ends, and I will hide one of it to get a most realistic vision. This way you can still see it a little bit, so that's not okay, and then I look in my inventory which will be better, and ta-da, there it is. Then I add some beautiful lupines on my island as well, in some empty corners where there is color, is a good solution. Also here, I here also add a bit of sand pot. As you see, for me, just one single tile is enough. I also like it when the grass tiles, for example, fit. When you put these in it, you can see a clear difference as the grass is very long and you can see that it doesn't fit. So instead I choose, of, of course, my good old friend the lupines and the grass, which is already on the other parts of the island too. At the end, I have to remove and move still some items, which is totally useless until I find out, ah, it's okay like this. I can quit and now my scene is finished. I have added here a picture for newer players who maybe don't have yet all the trees I have on my island. But as you see, the apple orchard, the oaks, the uh, broccoli trees and some others are very useful. And you can also create with these trees a nice and lovely forest.